Okay, good evening, everyone. Hello, am I audible to you? Yeah, you are audible. And I would like to uh, tell to everyone that please uh, on your videos, so screen, uh, on your video so we can see you. Sir, I have, hello. Yeah, yeah, Divya, yeah. Can I proceed, sir? Yeah, yeah please proceed, please proceed. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I am Divya Makwana, and it is a moment of extreme pleasure to welcome you all who are here to attend the national level online seminar competition on the recent train in applied sciences on the occasion of National Science Day conducted by the S. SRA. SRA is a scientist art academy. It is a research and publication institute which is started in 2018 as YouTube channel under the educational category and published an offline journal called JSR. It is its primary vision is to promote this research culture in India by facilitating the research in various domain of knowledge. Now I would like to proceed the program and I'm sure that you will all feel enriched with the knowledge after completing this event. So firstly, I would like to, um, I would like to call Dr. Rohit Chankarmani, the scientist and the director of SRA for his presentations. Sir, now over to you. Thank you, Divya. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay, so this is like national level uh, seminar competition. And we have kept this uh, behalf of uh, National Science Day. So tomorrow is National Science Day. So I would like to congratulate you all, first of all, like you have participated in this competition. And this is not only competition that we are going, we are going to grow ourselves with different types of uh, you know, techniques and all that stuff. So today I would like to share very, uh, like very knowledgeable thing with you all that the blood sugar. So we know all that, what is blood sugar and all that stuff. Nowadays, the diabetes uh, is at peak. So each, in each and every home, we are having one diabetes patient, right? So I'm going to share very informative uh, slide or presentation, what we can say on the blood sugar. So let's see. I'm not going to waste all of time, no. <clears throat> okay, my slide is like visible. Yeah, slides are visible. Yes, sir, it's visible. Okay, so we'll start. Actually, I was trying to uh, get to the directly to the presentation yes, because sir. because what happens sometimes like uh, we always give time to like other stuff which is not relevant to uh, program. So I would like to start with knowledgeable thing that is blood sugar. Now see what is blood sugar and how much it is in our, it is in our body why it is important in our, it, in our body and how we can maintain it. And nowadays what is happening now, we know that in each and every family, we are having one diabetic patient, right? So why this diabetes is coming and all that stuff, we are going to understand within like this in this small presentation. So let's start our presentation. So what is blood sugar? Now see, blood sugar or blood glucose, it is also called as a blood glucose. It is a sugar that is transported through the bloodstream to supply energy to all the cells in our body. Now see what is blood sugar or blood glucose. Sugar is nothing but the glucose, right? In our blood, we are having sugar that is in the form of glucose. And this glucose is required for our body cell to nurture themselves, to grow them. So that is what blood sugar is. Now the sugar is made up from the, blood, uh, the food what we eat. The human body regulates food blood glucose levels so that they are neither too high nor too low. See, uh, we know we know one thing that in our blood we are having sugar. Okay, we are having sugar that is very uh, that is at equilibrium level. So that sugar is important for our body for our cells because we are multicellular organism. So we are having multi multi cells in our body. So for each and every cell, sugar is required. So that sugar is provided to the bloodstream okay and this sugar is coming in our blood from where from the food now food what we are eating in daily life that's what like uh, doctors or the uh, like uh, we are always we are always hearing that like 
we have to eat the healthy food why we have to eat, eat healthy food because if we are eating healthy food then then the glucose will uh, will come in our blood that is at equilibrium level and then and then our cells will grow or it is a simple sugar crystalline edible carbohydrate and comes in a variety of form all of them sweet our body digests carbohydrates into glucose a simple sugar that can easily convert to the energy now this is second form of uh, definition of sugar or blood sugar what we can say the chemical formula for glucose is c6h12o6 now this we know one okay now first understand this figure okay now see here we can see the first here that is the pro, uh, normal process this this slide is visible to all right hello yes sir yes okay. sir yes it is visible so it's this is our good. yeah so this is normal process like how happen like what happens in our body when the glucose sugar is generated and how it is transported to each and every organ or each and every cell in our body this figure explains very well now say this is a very normal process now here first stomach and pancreas is here see uh, the most important function of blood sugar or blood glucose is in the blood because blood blood is the one of the important uh, uh, transportation from where the sugar will reach to each and every uh, body cells now here what we can see the first you can see here the first stomach converts food to glucose now we know the glycolysis right the glycolysis pathway where the glucose converts into the where can anybody anybody can tell me glucose converts to in hello pyruvic acid yeah. sir yeah yeah pyruvic acid so see this metabolism what we are studying in our uh, in our day to day life in uh, in our theory that all related to that all is related to our body cells okay so first of all whenever we are eating anything no that is food that food converts to the glucose you, you can see here first figure that is food converts to the glucose then that glucose enters into the blood stream now this glucose enters into the blood stream now this is the blood stream okay now this is the blood stream at the same time the pancreas produces insulin at the same time what happens the pancreas now pancreas is here beneath the stomach so this pancreas produces insulin and the insulin plus glucose comes into the blood stream okay now here now here what happens the concentration of insulin and the glucose should be at equilibrium should be equal should be equal then this glucose or this insulin will provide it to the entire our body that glucose enters body effectively effectively okay and fifth is the glucose level in balance now see glucose level or sugar level in our blood stream or in our body what we can say that should be balanced that should be at equilibrium what we can say why because in our body already we are having sugar that is in the in the form of insulin okay so that insulin is providing the most of the uh, what we can say the energy to each and every cell and from outside also we are taking glucose right that is in the form of food so inside insulin and outside glucose when coming together in the blood stream that time they have to maintain their concentration in the blood stream and when they are providing or then when they are traveling towards the cells that time they have to maintain their equilibrium otherwise cells will get confused that how much how much sugar is coming and how much we have to eat so that leads to the diabetes that leads to the high and low sugar concentration in our blood stream okay the human digestive system breaks down the carbohydrates from food into various sugar molecules one of them is glucose the body's principal source of energy we all know that the glucose is a very important and very principal source of energy and it is coming from food the glucose goes straight from the digestive system into the blood stream have consumed and digested food now see whatever things we are eating from that blood is coming no oh, sorry uh, sugar is uh, glucose is coming and that directly going to the blood stream glucose can only enter cells if there is insulin in the blood stream too without any insulin the cells would starve now see in last in last slide i have shown you one figure in that figure what was there like food is food was coming from outside 
and from food glucose is coming like inside the blood stream right now when the uh, glucose comes inside the blood stream that time insulin have to come okay when insulin and glucose is coming in the blood stream that time the equilibrium on the concentration should be maintained and that is what the cell will get their energy if this concentration is not maintained in the blood stream then the cells would starve after we eat blood sugar concentration rise the pancreas releases insulin automatically so that the glucose enters cells as more and more cells receive glucose blood sugar levels comes down to normal again this is a very normal process what we know excess glucose is stored as a glycogen that is stored a glucose in the liver and the muscles now see what was excess glucose is in the body that excess glucose is stored in the form of glycogen that is called as a stored glucose and where it is stored it is stored in the liver and muscles now see this is the figure how we can easily uh, imagine that insulin and blood blood glucose blood sugar production uh, and see the pancreas is mostly known for the insulin production okay and when the blood sugar comes into the blood stream that time insulin reacts not react insulin uh, combines with the blood sugar and that time they try they uh, they try to maintain the concentration in the blood stream. okay after a meal blood glucose levels rise insulin is released from the pancreas into the blood stream blood sugar levels fall back now see here what happens whenever we are ha we are having meal that time what happens the glucose will come in our body means our glucose level rises so at the same time insulin will be secreted from the pancreas into the blood stream and that is what what happens blood sugar levels fall back if we have not eaten for a while and blood glucose concentrations keep dropping the pancreas releases another hormone called a glycogen now see sometimes what happens now when you are traveling or when we are having fasting and all that stuff that time we are not having food for longer time it happens mostly during the traveling time okay i am traveling too much so during the traveling what happens we we, we won't get sufficient food so that time we will get on fasting right so that time uh, what happens ki hamare uh, body mein jo jo pancreas hai wo pancreas generally <coughs> insulin produce karta hai but that time kya karta hai wo glycogen glycogen ka production karta hai in the absence of insulin in the absence of food glycogen triggers <coughs> the breakdown of glycogen into glucose thus pushing blood glucose levels back up to the normal this is very important when we are talking about the glucose uh, glucose level and the insulin level in the uh, blood stream that time this this point is very important in the absence of food what happens in the body now see what are the causes of blood sugar level rises and the low see we we hear in daily life ki hum sunte hai ki हमारे घर में किसका ब्लड शुगर कम हो गया किसका ज्यादा हो गया नो वाई इट हैपन्स फर्स्ट थिंग इज स्कीप और फर्गर यूर इंसुलिन और ओरल ग्लूकोज लोअरिंग मेडिसिन सी दिस इज द सिंपल आर्टिफिशियल और सिंपल नेचुरल थिंग्स हमारे बॉडी में ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी ग्लूकोज लेवल होता ग्लूकोज होता है इंसुलिन होता है और उसका जो बैलेंसिंग है वो बैलेंसिंग हमारी बॉडी करती है ओके बट वे समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स एज आई टोल्ड यू नाउ that when we are when we are when we are not having food that time what happens the body will produce glucogen so that time what happens insulin won't be there but at the same time glucose level have to maintain so that glucose level level is maintained very well by the cells but sometimes when uh, the insulin is not there or uh, glucose is not there in the body so that leads to the sugar level rise or this one okay but when the what if you see the patients no agar hum patients ko dekhte hai to patient ka generally kya hota hai they are having uh, sometimes ki low bp no or high bp like that or sugar level sugar level bahut hi kam ho gaya zyada ho gaya so iska karan unme hi hota hai ki dekho aap kabhi bhi dekhoge jo diabetes ke patient hote hai ya fir blood sugar ke jo patient hote hai unme wo khana bahut time ke time, time to time khate hai why because they are aware doctor unko bola hota hai ki you have to eat at the at a like specific time and that time you should not miss because we know our body process whenever we are getting hungry you know that time like uh, we'll feel that why because saliva will come in our mouth and saliva will uh, give us signs that are bhaiya bhook lagi hai kha lo okay so this is this is this is like body functions body functionality 
and wh- what we have to do we have to serve a very healthy food to our body eat too many grams of carbohydrates for the amount of insulin you took or eat too many carbs in general blood sugar rise hone ka a bhi karan hai ki when we are having like carbohydrates in too much amount you know carbohydrates carbs matlab jis food mein ka- carbs hote hain wo hum bahut zyada kha lete hain to uske wajah se kya hota hai insulin level bhi farak aa jata hai have an infection if you have an infection uh or if you have if you are ill or you are under stress become inactive or exercise less than usual take part in strenuous physical activity especially when your blood sugar levels are high and insulin levels are low now see blood sugar rise hone ke liye bahut sare karan diye jate hain lekin aajkal ke youth ko agar hum dekhe jaye dekha jaye so today's uh, what we can say the young generation is mostly into the mobile stuff recently we have we have published one blog that divya uh, or like divya has written one blog that uh, effect of this is right field yeah yeah effect of right mobile field. yeah effect yeah. of mobile on children's health so th- these are the some reasons no because of this uh, stress will come and the children won't behave very good their behavior will change and they will uh, mostly undergo the stress and all that stuff no so these are the some reasons will leads to the blood sugar level will rise okay now early signs now how to <clears throat> how to identify that blood sugar level is high or low what are the early signs now increased the thirst headache trouble concentrating blurred vision frequent peeing fatigueness that is weak or tired a tired feeling weight loss or blood sugar more than 180 mg no see <clears throat> these all uh, uh, reasons are very uh, what we can say that relatable because nowadays see in daily life what we are de- doing in daily life we are uh, always always near to mobile near to mobile near to tv you know near to some uh, some like uh, some uh, what we can say the headsets and all that stuff so because of that you no know, it is directly affecting on our body right or if you see the it people they are always uh, they are always near to the laptop or computer screen because they have to work they have to do their work so because of that what is happening because of that uh, they are losing their concentration headache will be there no vision the most problem right i too have chashma okay so it happens when you are working too much too much if if you have to take care of yourself and these are the some symptoms no early symptoms that increases thirst headache trouble concentrating blurred vision will come there and the fatigueness is most important no and weight loss and if your blood sugar is more than 180 mg daily no then it will be the problematic ongoing high blood sugar may cause vaginal and skin infections okay slow healing cuts and sores worse vision nerve damage causing painful cold or intensity feet loss of hair on the lower extreme and erectile disinfection stomach and intestinal problems such as chronic constipation or diarrhea damage to your eyes blood vessels uh, or kidneys now see these are the very serious problems when we are talking about the blood sugar level if blood sugar is very high see uh, i heard many times no uh, like uh, my friends or doctor i have collaboration with doctors so they used to tell me that hamare uh, paas a patient aaya tha or they have the dis- erectile disinfection no dis- disinfection or they have loss of hairs and all that stuff in the diabetes patient or those are having no the sugar problem why it happens because when when like see when you are a patient you have to take care of yourself the most important point is the food you have to take a healthy food exercise and you have to be uh, habitual with the good habits right so these are the main reasons you have to take care <clears throat> now if you see the blood sugar levels blood sugar level chart this is a very uh, chart see normal blood sugar level with the if you are fasting then 80 to 100 <clears throat> mg dl and just eat just eat mat jab ab khana khate hain to 170 200 itna hota hai 3 hours after eating khana khane ke baad 3 ghante ke baad aapka sugar level will be the 120 to 140 pre diabetic jo pre diabetic hote hain 101 to 125 190 to 230 and 140 to 160 see the concentration or see the difference in between the normal and pre diabetic if you see the diabetic patients the so fasting when they are fasting no their blood sugar will be the 
126 plus and just ate 220 to 300 and three hours after eating 200 plus so this is the difference in between the, in the normal pre-diabetic and diabetic uh, blood sugar level that that is what i always always say, say to anyone no like those are in contact like eat healthy and be healthy no now see this is the uh, your blood glucose level changes when we eat now this is a very uh, dramatic presentation what we can say this just picture i have taken okay so when we are eating just in in previous slide i told you when we eat how how much glucose concentration will be there after two hours how much will be there that is what here presented in dramatic position blood uh, blood sugar with glucometer now how we can check our blood sugar so with the help of glucometer nowadays uh, during corona nowadays corona is very late so but when the corona was at peak you no know, that time the glucometer was like uh, in the market was very famous each and every person used to use glucometer and that oximeter and all that stuff so with the help of glucometer we can check our blood sugar level now what is the treatment if you have diabetes and uh, notice any uh, one of the early signs of the high blood sugar test your blood sugar and call the doctor he may ask you for the results of several readings he could recommend the following changes drink more water that is h2o helps to remove excess sugar from your blood through urine and it helps you avoid dehydration exercise more working out can help lower your blood sugar but under certain conditions it can make blood sugar go even higher ask your doctor what kind of exercise is right for you and last one that is change your eating habits this is most important one okay we have to change our eating habits and we have to concentrate on exercising and we have to drink more water now precautions what we have to take if you are a diabetic patient then you have to uh, work to keep our blood sugar under control follow your meal plan exercise program and medicine uh, schedule uh, we you should not you should not have to worry about hyperglycemia see now when we when we are talking about the blood sugar the hyperglycemia is most important one because when you are talking it is it is see the glucose concentration in our blood on the insulin concentration in our in our blood as I am telling from first lab, that should be at the concentration. That should be at at a, a specific concentration. Specific concentration means what? As I told in in the chart, right? In the chart, I told you how much how much concentration of sugar should be there. That should be maintained with the help of exercise and drinking more water and eating healthy food. Know your diet. Count the total amounts of carbs in each meal and snack. Test your blood sugar regularly. Tell your doctor if you have repeated abnormal blood sugar reading, where medicinal identification to let people know you have diabetes in case of an emergency. This is very important. See, in our house, what happens? If you have diabetes, they don't tell me that I have diabetes. They will feel very shy or they will feel no, uh, something uh, uh, uncomfortable, uncomfortable. So you have to tell people. Because sometimes emergency will come, right? So people won't understand what is happening there. So people, if people are aware about you that, okay, this, this candidate or this uncle or this auntie is having uh, diabetes. So they can, they can, uh, they can treat you at, uh, at home at like very basic level, what we can say primary level, or uh, they can give you medicine, medicines, what you are having at home, or they can, they, they can go to doctor, right? So they, you should, you should be aware yourself and you should aware your society regarding that. So in emergency case, they will help you. So this is all about the blood sugar, blood sugar level and the and the how we can maintain, how it is happening in our body and we have to take care of ourselves, how we can take care of ourselves, what are the precautions. So thanks a lot. Thank you so much, sir, for such an informative presentation. Hello. Am yeah, I audible? Yeah, you are audible, yeah. Okay. The session is open for the question. If anyone have a question, then free, free to ask. You can also write it in the chat box. Okay. okay. Then it was, uh, hello. 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 No, I think they are talking uh, at home with someone. 
Yeah. Okay. I think they're talking in their local language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You have any question? Yes, I have. Yes. Well, I would say it, it was really a wonderful presentation. Like Thank diabetes you. is like it's a it's a very important thing which which everyone should know, and not many of them are aware of that how one should be treated or not. Yeah. So I was trying to say that, like you mentioned, that uh, stress also can be a cause of diabetes. So, so can you specify that how how can stress be directly a factor to cause diabetes? See, stress is very important when we are talking about our health, right? If you see this, yeah. see. Uh, nowadays like when i'm like i'm studying nowadays no so when i'm meeting to doctors or when i'm yeah. meeting to my colleague scientists so they are saying like okay this person got too much stress and all that stuff so what happens uh, three or uh, two or three years back i was traveling to jammu kashmir regarding my research project and there i met one scientist and yeah. he was talking about stress okay i thought like, like i am from village right so in village we don't know about stress and all that stuff we are always happy Mm-hmm. So I like stress. It's not a big issue, hey, right? And there are now nowadays, no, like each and uh, like movies are movies are also coming on stress, stress subjects. In Marathi, yeah. there is there is one movie, uh, there is one movie in Marathi called Kaso. Okay, turtles, no, turtles, who in the water, in the water, turtles. So turtles, I mean, Kaso. There is one Marathi movie, Kaso. In that movie, they have explained very well what is stress, how it will affect your health, 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 Okay, yeah. that movie is like my favorite movie. How to cure stress? Yeah. Okay, so coming to your, coming back your question. See, when yeah. we are having stress, the first thing will happen that we won't have food, right? मुझे नहीं खाना. I won't have food because our हमारे taste चली जाती है. Because we won't feel yeah. to have food, right? We won't feel to uh, meet anyone. So that because of that, what happens? No, we socially will go. We will get closed in one environment. Yeah. एक एनवायरनमेंट में क्लोज होते हैं सो इट डायरेक्टली अफेक्टिंग इन आवर बॉडी सो इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग फूड एज आई टोल्ड यू इन वन स्लाइड दैट जब हम फूड नहीं खाते तो देन इंसुलिन और ग्लूकोज लेवल विल बी विल बी विल बी नॉट एट इक्विलिब्रियम और नॉट एट द कंसंट्रेशन सो दैट टाइम आवर बॉडी ओन रिस्पांस टू द व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इनसाइड आवर बॉडी सो अल्टीमेटली इट विल अफेक्ट ऑन द सेल्स राइट सो इसीलिए इसीलिए हम देखते हैं ना कि कोई जब खाना नहीं खाता अरे तू तो कितना बारीक हो गया ना मतलब तुम्हारी तबियत उतर गई राइट 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 सो इट डायरेक्टली अफेक्टिंग ऑन और फूड एंड फूड इफ फूड इज नॉट देयर देन इन इन ब्लड स्ट्रीम ग्लूकोज इज नॉट कमिंग इफ ग्लूकोज इज नॉट कमिंग द इंसुलिन इज नॉट कमिंग एंड कमिंग इन द ब्लड स्ट्रीम एंड डायरेक्टली द ग्लूकोज एंड द इंसुलिन इज नॉट गोइंग टू द सेल्स और सेल्स आर नॉट गेटिंग द एनर्जी सो डायरेक्टली इट इज अफेक्टिंग अफेक्टिंग ऑन आवर ऑन आवर हेल्थ चांस The finest case, like, is in my own family. Like, my grandfather was having diabetes, okay. and at that time, like in the sixties, there was no treatment. Mm. And now, mm. my my father is also having diabetes, okay. and my father is an uh, ex India officer. So you can understand he must be a fitness freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even he got shocked, like, when how he got diabetes. He, oh. he got it around uh, seven, eight years back. Oh. Like he is very regular when it comes to his exercises. He goes for his morning walk, and he got diabetes. And we all got shocked. Like, how can it be possible? Mm. Then when we went, we went to the doctor. He somehow said that it's mainly because it can be because of of uh, heredity. Because yeah, my yeah. grandfather was suffering from diabetes, and even he died from diabetes also. And since at that time, like in the late sixties, there was no treatment, and nobody knew about diabetes back then. Yes, right, 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 right. I think it's heredity is also a cause. Like, yeah, yeah, ten to fifteen percent can be due to heredity. Yes, yes, And that will it, that will be the cause. Yes, that will yeah. be the cause. Nice, nice point, or no? Nice point. Ah, uh, exactly. Like even we got shocked. Like how 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 can he catch diabetes? Because, uh, like. Uh, He was a navy. He was a navy person, and he used to like even now. So he regularly goes to his work, and yes, he has also having restrictions like 
not to have sweets and carbohydrates. Yeah. So he mostly eats chapatis for lunch. So that's it. <laughs> That is what I said. Like healthy. If you are now, if yeah. you are eating healthy food, then it long lasting. It will be good, right? Yeah. Yeah. So indirectly, I, I am also like taking little bit precautions <laughs> because, like, uh, like science says that the third, uh, the third generation is most likely to catch diabetes. Like many of the scientists report says. I don't know yes. how far it is true. Um, but I am. But like I usually don't eat sweets much. I mm. eat it in very less limit. So yes, like we have it in the gene. Like in my family, it's there. So okay. when I was uh, when I was reading your slides on diabetes, I was very curious and very much interested. Right. That that you know, is what that is what no. Uh, yeah, I I I I was thinking to uh, talk on something like related to science and all that stuff, like yeah. uh, literally. But I thought okay. I have to choose a subject which is very relevant to the uh, society. That's what. And okay. So uh, if no one is having any question, then we will move to the presentations. Okay, Divya. Yes, sir. Anyone have a question? Hello. Yeah, you are audible. You are audible. Okay. Can can uh, uh, please switch on your videos, no? So we can see you. And this will yeah, be, yeah, sir. this is going going to uh, we are going to upload on YouTube. So your all faces will be there on YouTube. <laughs> Sandeep Ramesh Soma. Nina. So all of you, please, I request you to on your cameras. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I would like to uh, call Nimra for his for her presentation. Hello. Nimra, are you there? Hello. Hello, am I audible? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Please Hello. switch on your camera, please. Hello. Hello, Nimra. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please switch on your camera. Okay, uh, Nimra, you can start yes. your presentation. Share your slides. Are you able to share screen? Yes, I'll share my screen. Okay. Okay, please share. It will take a little bit time, but I'll share it. Okay, okay. Don't know. Yeah, yeah, take no your issues. time. Yes. you are having uh, like Nimra's uh, this one PPTs? Yeah, yeah, sir. I have. Okay. I will share. I am sharing, sir. Hello. Okay, but Nimra? she can't. But she can't handle from there, right? Yeah. yeah. May I share your screen? I'm not able to upload. Okay then. I share my screen. Hello. Okay, the way you share and Nimra, you just uh, uh, okay, just you uh, present your your presentation by seeing the slides. Okay. If you are not able to. Okay. Okay. Okay, Nimra. Hello, sir. The slides are visible. Yes, yes. Slides are visible. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Nimra, you can start. No, do uh, do slideshow. Thank you.
sir i have shared the slides okay but do slide show it is like not coming slide show now visible sir we'll take second slide now hello sir the slides are visible or not no slides are visible but it is not in the slide show format cancel it and once again start it okay Yeah, yeah, from beginning, from beginning, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it is okay. Nimra, start. Okay, I am Nimra Habib, and I am here to give my presentation on the topic cancer biology. As we all know about cancer, because know about cancer as it is a very emerging topic these days. In every house, I suppose. we come across this term cancer uh, basically cancer cancer is a disease caused by caused when cells divide uncontrollably and spread into the surrounding tissues cancer is caused by changes in dna most cancer causing dna changes occur in the section of dna called genes um, can i can you please change the slide Um, am i audible can you please change the slide divya hello yeah, yes i, I have changed sir no it is not visible maybe you have network issue so do it again so now it's visible No, no, no. No, the slides are not. Okay then. Okay, go on. Go on. Second slide. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Is it now? Okay? No, 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 no. Don't do slide show. Maybe it is not happening. so go to the second slide directly don't do slide show so it's second one no re it is not visible no, no, no start from the first, start from the first line hello the way it is not hello. visible okay sir i think there is some we start issue. from the first second slide Yeah, yeah, I am doing. Okay, okay. Now, now it's it visible. Yeah, now it's visible. Go, go, go to the second slide. Yeah. The slides are not moving. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Fine, fine. Go back. Okay. Yeah, it's second slide, sir. Nimra. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I am on the second slide. Go to the first. Okay, This one fine. is the first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start from yeah, here, Nimra. Okay. Uh, basically, what is cancer? A cancer is a disease caused when cells divide uncontrollably and spread into the surrounding tissues. Cancer is caused by changes in DNA. Most cancer-causing DNA changes occur in the section of a DNA called genes. These genes, these changes are also called genetic changes. Uh, can a tumor is the mass of cell that grows more rapidly than surrounding tissues. A tumor is classified basically two types: malignant, which is very dangerous and harmful for the body, and benign, it is harmless and non-cancerous. Uh, we come across many a times we come across a word metastasis metastasis is a process where cancer spreads from one area of the body to another to the different part of the body usually people die from metastasis process now changes cellular changes 
and mutation theory we have come across many theories which define that cancer can spread from different different types as such one theory is that cancer results from an error that happens during the reproduction of the cell another theory that supports is that the cancer is caused by some external agents uh, they may be carcinogens that are defined as carcinogens that enter in a small amount normal cell and initiate changes carcinogens basically include radi different radi radiations harmful radiations chemicals hormonal drugs toxins smoking etc the third theory includes the includes that the research that certain viruses are believed to cause tumors in animals uh there are main four types of cancers first are car first is carcinomas Car a carcinoma begins in the skin or the tissue that cover the surface of internal organs and glands some cancers that are present in carcino that represent carcinomas are breast cancer prostate cancer lung cancer colorectal cancer etc then we come across sarcoma a sarcoma begins in the tissues that support and connect the body basically they are uh, present in connective tissues or muscles of the body then we have leukemia leukemia is the cancer of blood and then lymphomas it is a cancer that begins in the lymphatic system of the body they are Hodg hodgkin lymphomas and non hodgkin lymphomas cancer are cancer cancer cells are defined by two heritable properties they reproduce in deficiency of the normal restraint on cell growth and division they invade and colonize territories normally reserved for other cells it is the combination of these properties that make cancerous more lethal an abnormal cell that grows and proliferates out of control give rise gives rise to a tumor or neoplasma as long as neoplastic cells have not yet become invasive however the tumor is said to be benign benign is localized for the most type of such neoplasm removing or destroying the mass locally usually achieves a complete cure a tumor is considered a true, true tumor if it is malignant that is when it its cells have acquired the ability to invade the surrounding tissues invasiveness is an essential characteristic of cancer cells it allows them to break loose enter blood or lymphatic vessels and from secondary tumors called metastases as other sites in the body in general the more the more widely a cancer spreads the harder it becomes to eradicate it is generally metastases that kill kills the cancer patient now we come across a come across tumor microenvironment which plays a major role in tumorogenesis tumor consists of many cell types including cancer cells endothelial cells pericytes which are vascular smooth muscles of the body muscle cells fibroblast and inflammatory white blood cells communication among these and other cell types plays an important part in the tumor development however that only the cancer cells are thought to be genetically abnormal in a tumor this is the molecular biology of the cancerous genes there are different genes which take uh, part in the cancer basically there are two types of genes some are tumor suppressor genes some are onco genes tumor suppressor genes like p53 rb uh, retinoblastoma and 10 these are these and some caretaker genes like uh, brca1 which are present in bre breast cancer brc2 and gatekeeper genes like uh, gatekeeper genes also uh, consist of uh, tumor suppressor genes apc and p66 p16 these genes basically take part in the cell cycle and the land keeping genes like cadherin uh, selectin integritin these are integrin these uh, genes take these genes constitute the cell communication and the other onco genes like rtk ras map k map k jackstat strenthurin these genes these cancerous genes participate in the cell signaling so in, in cell signaling again we have divided the different different genes in different different functions 
like uh, p53 right retinoblastoma p10 atm atr p16 apc uh, tumor suppressor gene these are all genes which are the part of cell division of the cell during cancer formation of cancer then cell signaling consists of rtk ras jagstat and cell communication has cadherin selectin integritin now we come to a conclusion what happened diva sir i think there is some network issue okay nimra i think nimra got stuck now which the side sir which hello yes yes nimra got stuck i think nimra is having network issue yeah i think hello nimra your voice are breaking hello nimra can you conclude your uh, presentation nimra sir i think there is some network issue oh i think she left no okay okay no issues okay who is the next i think there is some kind of discrepancy okay okay nimra okay hello yeah yeah am i audible yes yeah. yes now you are audible i'm so sorry for the inconvenience it's no, okay it's nimra okay. Conclude. i think there was some kind of conclude your presentation yeah, yeah. conclude your presentation yeah so the conclusion of this ppt is that cancer is the second leading cause of death following heart diseases one should take care about its prevention before the occurrence of disease by various examination like one can go for um, ct scans and uh, mammographs etc recent treatments may include radiation therapy cell based immunotherapy gene therapy chemotherapy etc which are most widely used methods for the treatment of various types of cancers okay thank you okay. nimra for okay nimra i am having one like one question is there for you yes sir what do you mean by uh, zero stage first stage second stage or last stage of cancer what do you mean by this so these are the division of the uh, uh, aggressive as a aggressiveness of the disease basically we say na this is the first stage is me cure ho jata hai matlab zyada khatre ki baat nahi hai then second stage third is the more serious the body gets in that disease और लास्ट स्टेज में तो एज वी ऑल नो कि कोई कुछ नहीं रह जाता है इवन कीमोथेरेपी ऑपरेशन एवरीथिंग हैज बीन डन इन दैट लास्ट स्टेज बट स्टिल पीपल आर नॉट पीपल अ पर्सन डज नॉट सरवाइव इन दैट इन दिस ऑल दो मेनी थेरेपीज एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ट्रीटमेंट्स आर बीन गिवन बट स्टिल द सर्वाइवल रेट ऑफ द कैंसर इज वेरी 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 मच लो इन एनी काइंड ऑफ कैंसर ओके ओके फाइन फाइन निमरा थैंक यू so who is the second divya so now sandeep is second well, so i a, would like to i have a yeah yeah yeah, yeah you can ask well, can i ask a question yeah yeah you can ask okay yeah, well uh, your presentation was was really nice on cancer biology give it up uh, so yes my question is like you have mentioned about gene therapy right that gene therapy can be used for a treatment of cancer so you very well know that for gene therapy you need to use certain vectors so which vectors uh, would you like to use for treating uh, cancer like in gene therapy which vectors can be used preferably for treating cancer so hello nimra <clears throat> can you answer i think again she got network issue it's hello yes is it audible 
Yeah, you're audible, Arno, but Nimra is uh, having network issue. Maybe she got. Oh, no, exactly. Yeah, she is stuck to my house. It, uh, it's frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no issues. Uh, we will come back again to Nimra. Okay, once she once she got into the network. Yeah. <laughs> अच्छा फाइन ओके ओके आई थिंक इट इज हैंग वीडियो इज हैंग या वीडियो इज हैंग ओके सो विल अनना सर यू कैन राइट योर क्वेश्चन इन द चैट बॉक्स या या ओके सो शी कैन रिप्लाई चैट बॉक्स इज अच्छा हियर हियर चैट ओके फाइन आई डोंट मार्क दिस फाइन ओके नाउ सेकंड नाउ आई नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट संदीप पांडे फॉर हिज प्रेजेंटेशन हेलो हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून या या संदीप गुड आफ्टरनून हेलो कैन यू प्रेजेंट योर प्रेजेंटेशन हेलो यस यस मैम सो प्लीज प्रेजेंट हेलो नाउ शी इज कम बैक Okay. You know, I actually I was having a net connection issue. That is why I was disconnected. May okay, I please fine. have the question again? No issue. You, you can. You can. You can. Okay. Answer. When I have already yes, when I have already mentioned the question in the chat box. Yeah, you can. You can, you can answer see. in chat. Okay. Box. Okay. I'll give the answer in the chat box. Okay. I'll thanks. be very pleased to give the answer in the chat box. <laughs> okay. As you're comfortable. Yeah. Oh, fine. That will also do. Yeah. Now Sandeep, Sandeep, you can present. Sandeep, please share your screen. Yes, ma'am. I'm sharing screen. Now after Sandeep, who is there? Ruchika is there. Okay, Ruchika, uh, be ready with your presentation and be ready to share your screen after Sandeep. Okay, Ruchika. Yeah, yeah, sir. I have message here. Okay, fine. Thank you. हेलो संदीप हेलो संदीप आर यू देयर यस मैम इफ यू फाइंड एनी प्रॉब्लम देन आई कैन शेयर योर प्रेजेंटेशन May I? Ma'am, ma is the screen visible? No, it's not visible. Okay then. May I? Pre I am presenting your presentation. Right. Wait a second. Sir, the slides uh, are visible. Yeah, slides are visible. Uh, Sandeep, you can you can present you can present from here. Okay. Hello. Yeah, slides are visible. The my slides are visible. No, your slides are not visible. This is like Divya. Divya slides are visible. Okay, okay. Hello, Sandhi. Please start. Yes, sir. and uh, ruchika next one uh, be ready with slides and all the stuff okay good afternoon to everyone i am sandeep pandey my presentation topic is metabolic reprogramming in cancer cell first of all the cancer cell require a higher rate of energy for their active proliferation and growth due to which tumor become hypoxic and they need to rely on non oxidative energy sources cancer cell adapt to hypoxia by using pathways of physiological adaptation that encourage a shift from oxidative to glycolytic metabolism in healthy cells energy homeostasis is maintained by different metabolic pathways like glycolysis krebs cycle lipogenesis and these cells have a relatively low rate of cell division as comparison now glucose metabolism glucose is the central macronutrient and the metabolism of this nutrient is crucial for sustaining life in all the mammals 
pyruvate is either reduced to lactate in absence of oxygen by the anaerobic glycolysis process or oxidized to generate acetyl coenzyme A in the presence of oxygen based on the availability of oxygen to the cells and then completely oxidized to carbon dioxide and water by the TCA cycle. Most cancer cells rely on the high glycolysis concentration for growth and survival, even though there is adequate amount of oxygen is present. The Warburg effect. The first observation of abnormal metabolism in cancer cell was identified by Otto Warburg, and it is called the Warburg effect. Hypoxia is considered as a normal finding in tumor. And what is Warburg effect? In mammals, the end product can be lactate or CO2 upon the full oxidation of glucose by a mitochondrial respiration. In the case of various tumors or uncontrolled developing cells, the rate of glucose uptake increases dramatically and lactate is produced even in the presence of oxygen and by fully functioning mitochondria. This is called the Warburg effect. Now, lipid metabolism. Cancer cells have an increased amount of lipid content. In hypoxic condition, hypoxia inducing factor induces the lipid droplet accumulation and uptake and reprogram the beta oxidation and ex novo biosynthesis of fatty acids regarding the uptake of some protein binding factor FABP3, FABP7, and ADRP the factor required for the droplet formation and these are induced by the hypoxia inducing factor one. This condition protect against ROS and contribute to cell growth and survival after hypoxic condition. Amino acid metabolism in cancer. Metabolism of two non-essential amino acid named glutamine and serine is particularly affected by the hypoxia in cancerous cell. Glutamine is one of the primary substrate in cancer cell. It can be utilized to supply TCA cycle to support biosynthesis, energetics, and cellular homeostasis as a source of carbon and nitrogen mainly. And serine, second one, which is plays a central role in cancer cell growth. Hello. Sandeep, your voice is breaking. Hello, Sandeep, are you audible? I think it is not I think he is having network issues, so he left. I think so. Yeah. There is some I message him. Sir. Yeah, please, guys, be in the network. <laughs> no, because of this time, we'll uh, go down. No, like where we are planning, like till six only. Okay. So the we came to a conclusion. Each cancer cell exhibit different metabolic properties even in identical tumor tissue. For example, some cancer cell prefer glycolysis and other prefer different oxidative phosphorylation pathway. This preference is assumed to be caused by things like genetic heterogeneity within a tumor, the influences of oxygen microenvironment, and by interplay with surrounding non-cancerous cell. Research on the metabolic pathway focusing on the tumor's microenvironment and on the interplay between cancer and non-cancer cell in, in vivo condition is needed to depend our out understanding of the nature of cancer and develop novel strategies for the therapy of cancer. Okay, Sandeep, I'm having one question for you. Hello, Sandeep. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. What, what do you mean by uh, cancer stage four? Cancer stage, stage four, four. Matlab kya hota hai? Actually, 
stages are decided on the basis of metastasis metastasis condition and mm -hmm. uh, if the it progression of the cancer cell throughout the all cells and the various organs or inside the human body that can't be treated and uh, okay uh, anybody is having any question or no any question yeah. okay i think arna is also not having question Arnav sir, do you have any question? Well, I could not mute or because of the network. Okay, Divya, then uh, okay, move then. move forward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I would like to invite Ruchika Makwana for her presentation. Ruchika Makwana. Hello. Yeah, I am sharing your presentation. It's in PDF form, sir. Okay, okay. Now, sir, is it visible? No, no, no. Cancel it again. Once again, cancel it and again do it. Okay. This is because of network issue. Now? Yeah. No. Yeah. It is visible now. Yeah. Visible, sir. Yes, yes, it's visible. Okay. Hello, Ruchika. Please start your presentation. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ruchika. I'm Ruchika. I'm here today to talk hello, about hello. my presentation. Hello. Ruchika, there is network issue. Your voice are breaking. Please be in the network. Can I start? No, your voice is still breaking. Hello. Ah, now you are audible. Good evening, all of you. Thank you for being here today. I am Ruchika Makwana from Mansoor. I am here today to talk to you about my presentation and my topic is biotechnology. First, let's see introduction of biotechnology. The term biotechnology is made up by two different words that is biology plus technology. Now, the first question will come in your mind is that what is biotechnology? Biotechnology is a science that is based on biology. So let's see the definition of biotechnology. Biotechnology is a broad area of biology involving the use of living system and organism to develop or make products. Depending on the tools and application, it often overlap with related scientific field. Then we see that oldest form of biotechnology. Next slide. Yeah, yeah. And now is it possible? Okay. Yeah. Making curds with lactobacillus bacteria and treat with the help of microorganisms is the oldest form of biotechnology. Then we will see that development of biotechnology. The, the development of biotechnology from 1953 to 2010. The discovery in 1953 of the double helix, the twisted ladder structure of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid by James Western and Francis Crick marked a milestone in the history of science and gave rise to a molecular biology. Then, in 1955, scientist Frederick Sanger discovered the amino acid sequence of insulin. Frederick Sanger was the first person to obtain a protein sequence. Sanger proved that protein were ordered molecules, and by analogy, the genes and DNA that make this protein should have an ordered or sequence as well. Sanger won his first Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1958 for his work on the structure of protein. Then in 1966, three scientists shared the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicines for, crack for cracking the genetic code of DNA. Then in 1986, the, re the Recombivax HB vaccine for Hepatitis B was approved for human use in several countries. 
then in 1987 field test of a genetically modified food plant got approved for virus resistant tomato so there is a question why have tomatoes been genetically modified so tomatoes are genetically modified to have a longer shelf life slowing and refining and softening of the tomato the bacteria have been genetic genetically injured to contain the dna needed to produce insulin then in 2001 the sequence of human genome published in science and nature what is a human genome sequence the total length of the human reference genome that does not represent the sequence of any specific individual in over 3 billion base pair then in 2004 scientists at texas a and m university delivered the world's uh, first cloned pet a kitten named copycat then in 2006 gardasil is the first quadrivalent human papilo ma virus hpv types 6 11 16 18 18 recombinant vaccine approved by the fda on june on june 8 2006 it induced genotype specific virus neutralizing antibodies and prevent infection with hpv then in 2010 scientists at jcvi constructed the first cell with a synthetic genome in 2010 they didn't build it cell completely from scratches instead they started with cell from a very simple type of bacteria called a mycoplasma then the father of biotechnology carlo erkin carlo erkin is the is a is the one who coined the term biotechnology in 1999 at the time he was a food minister in hungary about the biotechnology of meat feed and milk production in an agriculture large scale farm he described biotechnology to his book and stated how raw material can be converted to useful product therefore he is called a father of biotechnology then we see that types of biotechnology there are there are several being for classification of biotechnology but the most popular is by using color codes so first is green biotechnology it is related to agriculture application application of biotechnology in order to produce environmentally friendly solution as an alternative to traditional industrial agriculture like example bt cotton then second one is red biotechnology it, it is related to a medical application it is a branch of modern biotechnology which is used in the field of medicines it is also used in classical biotechnology era for producing insulin then third one is blue bi- blue biotechnology it is related to aquatic application application of biotechnology to aquatic and marine organism to get new sources of energy increase in sea food then last one is white biotechnology it is related to industrial application and it is also called industrial biotechnology it is a collection of scientific technique and technology technology used to improve industrial production then the application of biotechnology slide next slide there are many application for in biotechnology in agriculture field in medical in social except in production of transgenic organ and biotechnology play a key role in contributing to the current coronavirus situation by working with human cell and genes mechanism biotechnologists improve their understanding for viral mechanism by studying their genetics and transcribing this information into knowledge and tools to search for a vaccine then scope of biotechnology there are many scope in biotechnology first biotechnology is a multidisciplinary pursuit that has emerged as a demanding industry during the recent post and second is beside being a branch of advanced biology science it has attracted many multinational companies including those are concerned with the production of pharmaceuticals products for a cure or control of many diseases improvement of clinical testing and diagnosis tool productions of wide range of food product fertilizers etc then last is conclusion biotechnology is a complement not a substitute for many areas of conventional research Biotechnology is a production of interaction between biology 
biological science and modern technology. Biotechnology utilizes living cells and cellular materials to create pharmaceuticals, diagnostic, agriculture, environmental, and other products to benefit society. In simple words, we can see that biotechnology is a technology which can recreate the nature more beautifully. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank uh, you so Ruchika. Much, Ruchika. Ruchika, I have one question for you. What is hepatitis virus? Hello. Ruchika. Sorry, sir. I don't know. Okay. So you told no. Who the father of biotechnology? Who is the father of biotechnology? Carlo Irke. So his major discovery was uh, in which area? What was his major discovery? Hello. Major discovery, no? Because of that only he he's he's like uh, came across the world that as the father of biotechnology. Okay, the presentation is over, I suppose. Yes, yes. By the way, presentation okay, was hi. very good. Yeah. Arno, you have. No, I, I couldn't see the presentation because of my network issue. Okay, okay. fine. I was having a network issue, so I couldn't connect it. And when I connected, it's over. Anyways, okay, it's okay. okay. Okay, fine. Yeah. Then uh, thank you, uh, Ruchika. Yeah, who is the next? Okay, sir. sir, next is Ramesh Manitripathi. Who is the next? Who is next after yeah. Ramesh? Sir, Arno Pandey's video, sir. Oh, we'll take at oh, the end. We Arno can play the video. We can play video yeah. at the end of Arno. After Arno? Okay. Soma. Soma. Okay, then we'll take now Ramesh and then Soma. Okay, Ramesh, are you okay. ready? Hello. Ramesh, are you audible? Hello. Hello, please switch on your camera and unmute yourself. Hello. I think he is not there. Okay, Soma is ready. Soma. No. Soma. Soma is there. Soma, are you there? Yeah, she is a meeting. Okay, then I will play Arnav's video then. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, we will we'll come with a cross with Arnav. The video is visible? Yeah, it is. It is. I okay, I will play. Yeah, the way it is visible. Is it visible? Yes, sir, it's visible. Okay. It's not audible, I think. Yes, sir, it's not audible. Okay. We are not getting any sound. But it's maximum. Is not audible. No, sir. Now, is it audible now? No, no, sir. It's not audible. Uh -huh. Now, is it audible? No, sir. Oh, Still, it's not. Audio should come. I think there's some.
Oh, I think it is not audible. Why? Why? What is the problem? Actually, here it's showing across near the audio, like where you are playing the video, sir. Mm -hmm. And is it not coming because of that? Oh, uh, no. Like I am saying, beautiful. I am like uh, voice is also like audible. Because in the video it was audible. If I am not wrong. Yeah, video is uh, that the yeah yeah is audible. Show the but, volume and. Volume is high. Click on this, na. No? See, volume is high. Hmm, it's not coming. Not coming. Voice is not coming. No. Or is it some issue with the Zoom yeah, that it won't uh, show audio of a recorded video? Is it like this? It may be. But still, audio should come because. That's strange. Mutation. When a particular bacteria yeah, now it's coming now it's coming. Okay, Thank coming God. no? Now it's yes, coming. Yes, sir. Good morning, okay. everyone. Thank My God. My name is Arna Fari and I am a PhD scholar at BIT University in Bangalore. So today I'll be talking about the use of bacteriophage therapy as a strategy for the treatment of antibiotic resistance bacteria on the occasion of National Science Day. So, first of all, I would like to give a brief overview about this antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance is a phenomenon in which the bacteria are no longer able to defend the drugs which are used for their treatment. And these bacteria are not affected by the dose of these antibiotics. This phenomenon of antibiotic resistance has caused a major global health concern in the society because of the increase in the spread of infections, illness, and also death. Bacterial infections due to the antibiotic resistance bacteria is responsible for causing high mobility and high mortality rates. Causes of antibiotic resistance. The first main important cause is your mutation. When a particular bacteria replicates, during that process, certain mutations arise and those mutations can make a bacteria develop resistance to antibiotics. Second cause is the gene transfer. Some bacteria may acquire certain genes which are responsible for drug resistance and those genes can be transferred from one generation to the next generation during the process of cell division. And the third cause is the inappropriate use. Sometimes the excessive use of antibiotics or the use of antibiotics without the prescription of a particular doctor can make the bacteria develop resistance. And the fourth cause is the Hospital use. When antibiotics are used in excess in the hospitals and when close people come in contact with these infected people, it generally it uh, creates a fertile environment for the microbacteria to develop resistance to antibiotics. So now we talk about bacteriophages. Bacteriophages are a particular a virus that infects the bacteria and they replicate inside the bacteria. Their genome consists of either DNA or RNA, and the bacteriophages are basically found everywhere, like wherever a particular bacteria is present. And bacteriophages consists of two main cycles. First is your lytic cycle and your lysogenic cycle. So in your lytic cycle, the bacteriophage basically only infects the bacterium, whereas in the lysogenic cycle, the bacteriophage integrates its genome into the host cells genome, which is the bacteria. And after integration, it causes lysis and generates the release of phage virions. As you can see here, this is a brief pictorial representation of how a 
bacteriophage infects the bacterium. As you can see here, the, the genome of the bacteriophage integrates into the bacterial cell and thereon, after that, it causes host cell lysis and then it generates a release of these particles upon integration. So, bacteriophage therapy. This bacteriophage therapy is now seen as a major alternative strategy for treating antibiotic resistance bacteria. And it is one of the most several approaches which now scientists are intensively exploring to treat such kind of bacterial infections. Due to the rising case of antimicrobial resistance, bacteriophage therapy is now considered an important tool for treating these bacterial infections. Those bacteriophages have a broad spectrum host range activity against their target bacteria. Bacteriophage is the first discovered by Felix P. Harrell in the year 1917. And now this phase therapy is being regularly used for treating various bacteria such as E. coli, Klebsiella, and Enterobacter, which are resistant to antibiotics. And it is also used for the treatment of various gram positive bacteria such as your methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Preferably, mostly, the lytic bacteriophages are used for targets as bacteriophage therapy because those lytic bacteriophages are. Uh, high efficiency and uh, they easily degrade the bacteria in a very short span of time. And apart from this, phage encapsulation is also employed in phage therapy in order to improve the stability of those phages. Nowadays, lots of companies are working towards the development of phage products for, for treating those bacterial infections. And with time, those phage products are now being commercialized and many of them have also got approved by the agencies such as the FDA, which is a federal drug agency. And some of the name of those companies are mentioned below. As you can see here, Ganga Gen is the only known Indian pharmaceutical company which is working towards the development of phage particles. And it is mostly targeting the Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. And the phage product which is being generated is the P128. So I would like to conclude by saying that the phenomena of antibiotic resistance is now a major global health concern which needs to be tackled seriously. And bacteriophage therapy is one of the best alternative strategies for treating those multidrug resistant bacteria. In order to study the efficacy of phages against the bacterial pathogen, it is very essential for the scientists to know the biology of these phage particles. Conducting various clinical trials of bacteriophage products is also essential in order to evaluate the safety of those phage products to be used as a therapeutic target. Thank you. Okay, so I think it's done. If you have any uh, questions, I would like to take it. Sir, sir I have a question. Yeah. Sure. Hello. Sure, yeah. sir. Sir, which factor decide that the bacteria has to go for the lytic or lysogenic cycle? Sorry, can you please repeat? Which factor or who decide that the bacteria has to go for lytic or lysogenic cycle? Is there any gene or is there any protein or some other factors? Arno, you are not audible. No, no, no. No, no, no. I think you lost your connection. Yeah, no. He's not there? He's there, but he's he is not audible. But I, yeah, yeah, now, now, yeah, now, now it's okay. Now it's okay. Okay, okay, I think, huh? yes, yes. So, your question was, so, yeah, so in order to know the lytic and uh, can you please repeat the question? Yeah, yeah, sir, who decide that the bacteria has to go for lytic cycle or lysogenic cycle? So, no, 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 because it's... bacteria only go with the lytic or lysogenic. No, 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 uh, it's the bacteriophage which has the lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle. The bacteria yeah, yeah. are selected, not the bacteria. 
the bacteria is the host so like the bacteriophage uses bacteria as a host to grow and it uh, kills the bacteria that's what phage therapy is all about yeah in order to know uh, which bacteriophage like uh, how to determine the lytic cycle and the lysogenic cycle for that we do an experiment uh, okay uh, we do a experiment called as a, a spot test in, and in that spot test where first of all we have a lawn of bacterial culture like say suppose for example we have a lawn of uh, staphylococcus aureus bacteria so you must be knowing what the lawn is lawn of bacteria okay okay so in simple words you have a lawn of bacterial culture and then from that you have your phage lysate which is in the liquid format and then we add the phage lysate to the bacteria and when so we some keep... factor sir actually but some factor are there na who can decide that the bacteriophage has to go with the lytic or lysogenic yeah that's yeah that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying so actually uh, we do this by doing it from the experiment so when we do the experiment and then when you keep it after keeping it for incubation and when you observe the plates like you, you obtain two type of plates clear transparent plates and turbid plates so when you obtain a clear plate it shows that the bacteriophage is in the lytic cycle okay and if you obtain see a turbid plate then the bacteriophage is in the lysogenic cycle okay. that's how you get to but sir you are uh, yeah. you are telling about the experiment right and i am talking about the natural process yeah see see like i said yeah, okay arna or no sir so see actually uh, what divya means for see uh, when when yeah. bacteriophage enters inside the bacteria see for yeah. example this is the bacteria when bacteriophage enters inside the, the dna it enters in the bac bacteria yeah, yeah. so when it starts its process you no know, that time the two process will happen first one lytic and yes, the lysogenic yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. her question was how the bacteriophage dna will decide that he have to go for the lysogenic or the lytic cycle what is the process what is the gene she is asking or what is the protein she is asking yes sir yeah, right. <laughs> that's my question okay 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 i got it i got it so you explain like i explained the bench work like regarding how it should be done okay yeah, so uh, yes yeah, see for that see like in the lytic cycle first the back like the bacteriophage has to identify the host right and when it identifies the host first of all it will integrate and replicate within the bacteria by using the bacteria's own proteins because it's a virus so it cannot re replicate on its own so yeah it's the captured proteins of a virus which decides whether the bacteria the bacteriophage will go into lytic cycle or the lysogenic cycle Okay, okay thank you thank you arno yeah thank you so, sir thank you arno nice presentation by the way arno nice thank you very much right. thank you very much so now soma or you got your answer you got your answer the yeah yeah sir i got my answer okay now or you have any other questions uh, soma or ramesh is not there ramesh ramesh okay. sir ramesh soma is not, is not present soma is not presenting okay so gargi so he message me so who is now who is the, who is next now no one is sir okay so my is so... not presenting and ramesh ramesh is not there i think he is network issue i messaged him mm -hmm. so he is telling that he has network issue okay fine then uh, so i think so presentation is over right yeah hey, one more one more girl was there no Okay then fine. Okay. I think if if there is no any pre further presentation, so we'll conclude today's uh, national level uh, online seminar. Then, before that, like I would like to say something. So I would like to sure, congratulate sure. congratulate you all that you have participated in this national level online seminar, and this was our first uh, program of Scientist R Academy, which is like a, a research and publication academy approved by ISO and NAS. so we are glad to uh, uh, hear you all that stuff and your all presentations yeah. were very nice and actually our Thank aim you. is Thank to you. grow 
uh, grow all like uh, re- like all students and all that stuff towards the research and publication yeah. so thanks a lot for presenting here yourself with your topic and all that stuff yeah definitely thank you very much if, yeah, like, if somebody it was a pleasure if somebody to, like yeah if somebody wants to talk they can talk yeah no i was like i was saying the same thing like uh, uh, like this was a very wonderful platform for like uh, not only for someone who is a research scholar but for the students also to present their ideas and develop their presentation skills on an online platform because it like it is something which will be very much needed like whether you go for research or for a professional career ahead presentation skills are very important it's very important and this is sort of perfect when yeah yeah so, definitely yeah. sir and uh, so see uh, about the academy if you want to know more about the scientist our academy so we have website called scientistaracademy.com so you can go there and you can visit we have diploma courses and uh, we have uh, like small short courses and we have different services also so you can visit and we have a journal also called the scientist which is a, a nasa approved and iso approved journal and recently like uh, since january we have started the journal and uh, till now we have uh, published around uh, 15 uh, research papers and around 20 are in the uh, wing so it's very good to have all this stuff and all papers are coming not only from india like outside india like yeah. thailand canada and all that stuff so people are coming and people are aware about the research most importantly like scientists okay that's yeah. how scientists like our academy is like going everywhere now so within uh, just two months we have reached a very good uh, uh public point of view so thanks a lot everyone so divya you can conclude you. now the conference uh, national seminar sir just second yeah yeah so one thing i want to tell you i would like to inform you that the result of the today's competition will be displayed on the website by tomorrow onwards and now at the end i would like to thank you all for being here for your time and consideration with the hope to have a meeting soon with more such a program conducted by the sra thank you so thank much you. all thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. now you can thank leave now you. okay thank you thank you, Take care. Thank you. sir we may leave Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah.